So the first shot we see is of Stormzy in the centre, surrounded by girls. This kind of breaks convention of of um, a lot of, of hip-hop music videos in the fact that these girls aren't provocatively dressed. They're just dressed kind of, I guess, relatively normally. Um, this is kind of, I think, it's kind of intentionally, he, they are surrounding him with girls, but intentionally showing that they're not being over-sexualised in this video, although later in the video that is arguably, um, arguably countered um, with some sexualisation of, of females. But in this section, in this little bit of it, um, it's kind of, it's, it's a counter to the normal hip-hop kind of guy in the middle surrounded by girls provocatively dressed, whereas this is a guy in the middle surrounded by really normal looking girls, I guess. Also, um, you see the, um, well, the girl, oh, quite a few are wearing, and you see this throughout the video, uh, Adidas clothing. This will be due to uh, demands of the uh, record label and, you know, product placement and stuff, and Stormzy has a lot of this within his videos. So you see him, the way he's rapping, everyone's still around him with him kind of probably going for it. So they're kind of typical of grime um, and in this the kind of working class uh, London environment. Um, like big crowds of people around one rapper is a very common way of showing um, in terms of, yeah, that, that's how it fits with the genre. Um, um, it's also interesting how it isn't, just your typical, the, the, the women in it, going back to this point of uh, the sexualization of women in the, in the kind of hip hop genre, um, the women in it aren't all, I guess, conventionally like the very skinny women, like you often see the kind of over sexualized, very skinny women. You see the more normal looking women um, sometimes, yeah, uh, more, more normal, like body shapes and stuff like that so yeah throughout this video it's a um, constant kind of everything is focused around Stormzy there's some cuts away to other stuff but everything is is focused on him which is again demands of the record label arguably because it's um a lot of close-up shots of him selling the brand of of Stormzy himself so you have a lot of, of uh, cutting on the beat and cutting to, to different shots, yeah, on, on the on the drum beat, which um, which shows the relationship between the visuals and music. Um, it's not necessarily a very massively cheery or upbeat song, and the the way that it's presented as a kind of a lot of run down areas within London, like within that kind of community of London, is um, kind of reflects the way the song is. The shot of him rapping, standing on the counter of the chicken shop. Um, this is almost a, a sort of in in joke. There's there's the racial stereotype of of uh, although obviously not true, but this kind of racial stereotype of of black people liking chicken and chicken shops, and it's almost a, a joke with him standing on the uh, on the counter of this chicken shop. Um, this joke's kind of added to by the fact that um, he's got a woman who he's she, she's one of the only people in this video who's kind of provocatively dressed, sort of over sexualized, um, as you would often expect from sort of hip hop videos. Um, she's one of the only ones who's who's uh, over sexualized in that way, but it's almost juxtaposed by the fact they're in a chicken shop, um, and that, that actually makes it quite funny and taken kind of less seriously in that in that way this this woman you also see her um, looking at herself in the mirror but again this is it's it's almost comical because you can see in the background the, like the sign for this chicken shop and although though she's looking at herself in the mirror and it's like almost like a voyeuristic thing it's um it's 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 like almost taking the mick out of that because because of the setting, it's not taking itself too seriously in terms of that. So yeah, we we see a shot of him uh, out of the top of a police car out of the top of the sunroof, which um, kind of goes along with the themes often in 
in grime of the uh, like defying the law and um, and stuff like that the, the the criminal side of this but the fact that he's kind of out of the top of it it's like again sort of making a joke out of it but um, yeah so not not he not taking himself too seriously in terms of all of that stuff although although this is a grime song he's almost taking the mick out of grime and just hip hop in general there a lot of the conventions of those videos oh, I, I, this video doesn't have a lot of the kind of lyrics linking in with the visuals but an almost ironic point where he does that is where he says drug money in my shoebox but he is literally out of the top of a police car and although yeah there's this kind of a legal side to it the the, the drugs and stuff but it's almost taken less serious because he's literally hanging out of the top of a police car so then you also have um, another bit of kind of um, sexualization of the female form. You have this woman kind of also hanging out of the police car like Stormzy was. Um, like kind of in this like relatively like provocative dress sort of just there not for much reason other than to, to look good you could argue. But again you could say this is <laughs> the, the setting kind of takes away from the sexualization and it turns into almost a joke again because she's in such an unconventional place literally out of the top of a, the sunroof of a police car which makes no sense why she why anyone would be there that it almost takes away from that um could be argued at least or on the other hand it could be argued that this is your kind of classic sexualization you get in in hip hop videos and other yeah other videos of this genre yeah so uh, again um lyrics linking with visuals he's kind of touching although it's only a minor thing when he when he says the line um I was in the O2 singing my lungs out um never too big for Adele or some some along those lines he's uh he's kind of hitting his chest almost like his lungs are there which, although it's only a minor thing, it is the lyrics relating to how he's acting within the, um, yeah, within the context of the song. So, right near the end of the video, we're introduced to a different scene where it's just Stormzy and a lot of um, white men. They're, they're kind of dressed in a way that you might associate with um, possibly, like, uh, arguably, like, football hooliganism and possibly uh, racist racist groups um, and and they look yeah it, it's this big group of, of white of just white men um, and he's rapping in front of them and then uh, yeah the video kind of then they start circling him it's like he's threatening them they're threatening him back it's like a like a although a lot of the video is less serious it's like a serious comment on on racial tensions within um, these communities in London and uh, it's yeah sort of suggesting uh, these guys are against him don't like him and that is potentially a racist thing um, and the video kind of ends with him staring down these people charging at him as if to attack him so although a lot of this video is quite light hearted it ends on a serious note of this kind of racial tension the end